A carbon tax sets the price of carbon emissions directly. It applies to different fuels based on their carbon intensity. Anyone who emits greenhouse gases pays that fee to the government. For example, $30 per ton of GHGs. That carbon price incentivizes households and businesses to find ways of doing things to reduce their emissions and to avoid having to pay the tax. Here's an example. Consider a given company, let's call it A. It chooses to take every action to reduce emissions that cost it less than simply paying the tax. For example, it decides to switch from diesel to electricity. Therefore, Company A's emissions are lower than they would have been without the tax. However, it still has some remaining emissions. For these emissions, it's cheaper to pay the carbon tax than making changes to reduce them. All businesses do this kind of calculation, but with different results. The flexibility that the carbon tax provides of when and how to reduce emissions sets a carbon tax apart from more inflexible regulations. They require all firms to use specific technologies or achieve some specific reductions. By providing choice to businesses, a carbon tax reduces emissions at the lowest possible cost to the economy.